Hey guys, welcome back. Tonight we're going to be checking out Ex Machina. Ex Machina? Um, it's a movie that has been on my list for a while. Everybody has told me that I should definitely check it out. And um, it's been a long time coming, so here we are. We're going to check it out tonight. I don't know too much about the movie. I just do know that it's about robots and I'm thinking artificial intelligence and I'm thinking it's going to explore, you know, concepts of what it means to be human, you know, all these artificial intelligence movies with really lifelike robot humans always kind of explore that aspect. Are they like a living thing because they have feelings and they have human like qualities? Um, or are they just robots who aren't self-aware and we can treat them and do anything we want with them? So, I believe it's going to go something like that. <laughs> with that being said, let's check out Ex Machina. Ex Machina? First prize? What did he win? Well, that's a definitely a chain change of scenery. It's a really rich guy, huh? Wow, who's he going to see? Uh, yeah, that's kind of weird. Just left him in the middle of nowhere. Seem like a pretty far walk. Please approach the console and face the screen. Very futuristic sounding voice. You may now enter the residence. Why do these robot voices always have to sound so like futuristic and <laughs> robotic? Can't they sound more like human like? You know, with all that advanced technology, I'm sure they could make him sound more human. Hello? That is quite a home, isn't it? Dude! <laughs> Been so looking forward to this week with you. Come in. No, no, thanks. Sure. Fine. Yeah. This actor has been be blowing honest, up have, uh, recently. I know this movie together, is but, um, about six years old, so since then he's he's been in a yeah. lot oh God, like you wouldn't even believe the big a blockbuster movies. Compensate the next morning, exercise, antioxidants. He's a good actor you know? though. Yeah, sure. Can we just be two guys, Nathan and Caleb? Not the whole employer employee thing? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yes. That's his uh, employer. Yeah. It's good to meet you, Nathan. Yes. Well, yeah, either like, oh, either he's house. short or the yeah, other actor is tall. What oh, year does this take place covers. in? The helicopter didn't look ultra futuristic, did it? Plus, they had really old. He had a really old webcam. And no, 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 on his work computer. That I was thinking this. And when you discover what you've missed out on in about a year, you're gonna regret it for the rest of your life. <laughs> wow. That guy is really convincing. How could you say no to that? So, do you know what the Turing test is? The Turing test, how to tell yeah. if someone's arti the artificial test. intelligence or not, right? And if the human doesn't know they're interacting with a computer, the test is passed. Yes, and that's what, what I meant to us? say. That the computer has artificial intelligence. Are you building an AI? I've already built one. If you've created a conscious machine, it's not the history of man. That's the history of gods. Well, nowadays we're using AI in a bunch of different situations and scenarios. Self-driving cars. Has that been created already though? Where you the Turing test has that has that been passed? Has anyone created something that where humans couldn't tell that they were talking to a computer? Now that is more than just artificial intelligence. That's like an Android 
humanoid robot. That looks cool though. Hello. I'm Caleb. Well, obviously I'm now Caleb. you can tell that you're communicating with a robot, with a computer. Do you have a name? Yes. Ava. She's watching him the whole time. Why don't of we start with you telling me something about yourself? What would you like to know? Whatever comes into your head. Will you come back tomorrow, Caleb? Yes. Will you come back tomorrow? That's an interesting question from a computer. And she said good. Which means she's showing like an oh, interest, man, like she likes him. And he looked up at me and he said, You're not a man, you're a god. Yeah, but I, I didn't <laughs> say that. So, anyway. That's how easily words can get twisted. You're impressed. <laughs> yes, yes. If I hid Ava from you so you just heard her voice, she would pass for human. The real test is to show you that she's a robot not... and see if you still feel she has consciousness. Hmm. hmm. Yeah, I think you're probably right. If she has consciousness, I don't. The, the how would that make sense? Stochastic, right? Your eyes AI's eyes don't have eyes. consciousness, the model right? Is some kind of hybrid, Caleb. So he's saying no. he created I consciousness. You want me to explain how Ava works? But I'm sorry, I'm not gonna be able to do that. Yeah. Ooh, sorry. did he somehow was able to I, take the no. consciousness from another human and put that into Ava? Answer me this. And that's kind of a dilemma, How right? How do you... I feel... That she's fucking amazing. He's starting to like her. Cheers. He no lucky. <laughs> it's 80s a new wave. Is that Ava? What the fuck? What? I don't get it. What is he surprised about? Is he trapped in there? In his room now? What did he see in the video that surprised him? It was just Ava reading or... Is that what? Like the fact that the robot is reading? You don't have access to use the phone. Sorry, but you understand, though, <laughs> given Ava, you being kind of an unknown, instant pals, and so on. <laughs> yeah, you really believe that. What? Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters? It's a f oh, that guy's oh, drunk. Ghost gives Dan Aykroyd all sex. <laughs> I was just wondering how the phone worked. If it happens again, relax, okay? Sure. Hmm, it's getting a little dark now. Can't really trust this guy. I think I missed something in that... When he saw Ava on his... On video. Is that Ava? Is that a robot? Or now now this is where the real test begins, huh? Because he made hey, man. Morning. robots morning. that really Sorry, look and move like man. humans now. So how do you tell if they're a yeah, robot no, or not? It was a good thing. Thanks. She's some alarm clock, huh? Now the question is how does she feel about you? That guy's performing his own little experiment, isn't he? What do you think? And he's not really telling him about it. Maybe he's trying to see if What's if, drawing? if a human can fall in love with a robot. No. No. I thought you would tell me. So what? You want you want me to talk about myself? Yes. <laughs> where? <laughs> okay, where do I start? <laughs> it's your decision. That's exactly how I she responded. <laughs> you know my name? Yes. 
That's Why exactly how she responded to I work at Nathan's company. Do you know what his company is? This is interesting. Are you married? Um, no. Is your status? Would you like to be? Yes. But it was a front that got the worst of it. She seems a little Sorry. empathetic. All right. Advanced programmer. Yes. Wow, she has emo. She's expressing okay. emotions. Yes. No. Is Nathan your friend? My friend? I, yeah, I hope so. A good friend. Um, oh, wow. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. I mean, not a good friend. A good friend is, is Nathan uh, controlling her, her, you know, responses so and questions? To be able to, um... Does Ava automatically turn off too when the power goes out? Oh no, she could still move. Caleb. Get me out of here. Wouldn't that be creepy? You're wrong. Wrong about what? Nathan is not your Nathan. friend. He isn't your friend. Ooh, what? Excuse me. It's taking a turn? I'm sorry. Eva, I, I don't understand. That's kind of creepy. You shouldn't trust him. In the red lighting, too. You shouldn't trust anything he says. What? Power restored. Is that okay? What? That was trippy. <laughs> Imagine the robot yeah. telling you that. Yeah. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Wow. Did it get on you? No, no, it's uh, it's all right. I I got it. Dude, you're wasting your time talking to her. She doesn't understand English. Just give her the napkin. No she may not understand like English words, but she can. When she's so fucking clumsy that she spills wine over my house guest. She can understand you're like you're pissed. Yeah? emotions, I am pissed. <laughs> body go, language, go. go go, and the intonations of your voice. You so she's not a robot. Shit. She she kind of moved like, like a robot. Cuts. There's too much classified stuff here. So after the job was done, I just had them all killed. I'm joking. Anyway. You don't make those type Cheers. of jokes when people are, when people now think you're kind of like crazy and creepy. So, yeah, there, was, there was one interesting thing that happened with, with Ava today. Don't tell him. Do not tell him. No, don't tell him what she said. Right, when she threw your line back at you. She could only do that with an awareness of her own mind and also an awareness of mine. Oh, she's aware of you, all right. <laughs> Why did he say that? Sorry? The power cut. It's the only part that I couldn't see. If cameras fail, I lose audio. What? Well, now you told him that he couldn't hear or see Nothing. anything, so he could lie about it. Nothing? She didn't remark on it at all? No. Say something. You gotta say something. You guys Not didn't really. just sit there and say nothing. You gotta tell him a little bit of a lie. How is he able to just watch her? That guy gave him privileges to be able to just watch her whenever he wants. It's like, it seems like he wants them to be attracted to each other. You hacked the world's cell phones? Yeah, and all the manufacturers knew I was doing it too. That's what they were showing at the beginning of the movie. Here, we have her mind. Yeah, they thought that search engines were a map of what people were thinking, but actually they were a map of how people were thinking. Imperfect. Patterned. Chaotic. Makes sense, makes sense. But he's taking information and data without people knowing, which is against the law, which is unethical, specific. which makes him... Creepy and a jerk. Yes, it is. She draws like a printer, huh? We could go together. It's a date. It's a date. Ooh. <laughs> There's something else I wanted to show you. 
She got dressed up for him. She looks anxious and, and nervous. This is what I'd wear on it. Wow. Right. First a traffic intersection, then maybe a show. Like us to go on a date. Yep. Yep. It'd be fun. <laughs> She's like serious and he's like, oh, how could this actually happen? Are you attracted to me? What? Are you attracted to me? You give me indications that you are. I do. Wow. Yes. I'm wondering if you're watching me on the cameras. Whoa, he is. How your oh, gosh. expressions are telegraphing discomfort. I am not sure you'd call them micro. They're pretty obvious. And... I don't want to make you feel uncomfortable. Whoa, that guy's falling in love bad. Can consciousness exist without interaction? Anyway, sexuality is fun, man. If you're going to exist, why not enjoy it? In answer to your real question, you bet she can fuck. What? Oh. <laughs> There's an opening with a concentration of sensors. You engage them in the right way. She could sense. feel? My real question was... She is a robot, isn't she? This girl right here? Version. Did you program her to flirt with me? If I did, would that be cheating? Wouldn't it? What's your type? Of girl? No, of salad dressing. Yeah, of girl. What's your type of girl? <laughs> you know what? Don't even answer that. Let's say it's black chicks. Okay, that's your thing. For the sake of <laughs> argument, that's your thing. Okay, why is that your thing? A consequence of accumulated external it's stimuli. Just natural. That you probably didn't even register as they registered with you. Please, of course you were programmed by nature or nurture or both. And to be honest, Caleb, you're starting to annoy me now because this is your insecurity talking. This is not your intellect. Come with mm. me. The challenge is not to act automatically. It's to find an action that is not automatic from painting to breathing to talking. Find an action that is not Ava, automatic. Ava's not pretending to like you. I'm here to test if you have a consciousness or if you're just simulating one. Nathan isn't sure if you have one or not. Dad, there's something with this girl right here That's and I'm thinking you. it's that she's a robot too. Don't you think it's possible that he's watching us right now? The blackouts are orchestrated so he can see how we behave when we think we're unobserved. Yes. I charge my batteries via induction plates. You're causing the cuts. So we can see how we behave when we're unobserved. Is that true? That sounds true. Come on, Caleb. You don't think I know what it's like to be smart? Smarter than everyone else, jockeying for position. You got the light on you, man. I know that how that feels. It's a it's a heavy burden to bear. Sometimes. She's got him dreaming about her. She is obviously a robot too. Right? Is he going to hit her? And this guy's going to get angry about it? However, you would not be wasting your time if you were dancing with her. She made us a uh, sex robot, didn't he? Go ahead, dance with her. Dance with her. You tore up her picture. I'm going to tear up the fucking dance floor, dude. Check it out. <laughs> Well, he, he could actually dance. Oh, come on, Caleb. <laughs> imagine, imagine the actress playing that role. That's it's impressive. What's your favorite color? She seems Red. a little Lie. sad today. Huh? Lie? Yes. Lie. 
There was a kid. Bye. It's a, really? Yes. Um, How does she know that? Are you a good person? Oh, holy shit. <laughs> Can we stop the test? <laughs> You're a walking lie detector, and I just realized this is a fucking minefield. No. We can't stop. <laughs> yeah. I think so. Lie. Question four. What will happen to me if I fail your test? Wow. Eva. Will it be bad? Do you think I might be switched off because I don't function as well as I'm supposed to? Eva, I don't know the answer to your question. Wow, what a question. It's not up to me. Why is it up to anyone? Why is it you up to anyone? Test you might switch you off. No, I don't. But why do I? She doesn't want to be switched off. Nobody. That's a picture of him. That's what she drew. That's what he ripped up. Power cut. Backup power activated. So the dad, or the dad, the uh, employer doesn't want her to fall in love with him. I want to be with you. Do you want to be with me? Straightforward and to the point. Look, the arrival of strong artificial intelligence has been inevitable for decades. I think it's the next model. It's, it was inevitable. It's if it's not it. him, someone else will create her. Singularity. Or will next create model. artificial intelligence. After Ava. So he is going to destroy her. I didn't know there was going to be a model after Ava. I'd say we're about to do a refill. He's gonna get him drunk. That guy doesn't know how to know when to stop drinking, does he? He let his guard down. What is he programming? Is he a robot too? Wait, what? What is he doing? Uh oh, he's awake now. Oh man. He's gonna get busted. Busted? How's he gonna give back the key? Oh wow, that looks crazy. You dropped it. Right here. That didn't seem suspicious to Nathan. He's questioning himself whether or not he's a robot. Wow. That's trippy. <laughs> he's like, wait a minute, was I created too? Ouch. You tell me, what is he gonna cut? Oh man. Ah, oh man, that's pretty deep. Out. No way he's a robot, right? No, nah, he's bleeding pretty bad. <laughs> She watching him? We're getting out of here tonight. How? I get Nathan blind drunk. Then I take his key card and reprogram all the security protocols in this place. When he wakes, he's locked inside and we've walked out of here. I just need you to do one thing. At 10 o'clock tonight, you trigger a power failure. Can you do that? Yes. This plan seems a little sketchy. Is he really gonna be able to get him drunk two nights in a row? It's your last. That guy's not suspicious at all. We need to drink to that. He's not gonna fall for it. Watch. It's way too early. Oh uh, no, I'm good. You go ahead. 
What, you, you don't, you don't want to drink? It's way too early to be drinking. Now Maybe it looks suspicious. But I'm on brown rice and mineral water. <sighs> See? There goes his whole Cheers plan. Me. You're just going to anyway, have to knock him out by like hitting him upside the head with something. Truly, the way that she's pretending to like you. Well, why would she do that? He's trying to play him. Maybe if she thought of you as a means of escape. See, he was on to him the whole time. Slicing your arm open and punching the mirror. You seem pretty fucked up to me. <laughs> That's pretty fucked up. You're a bastard. But believe it or not, I'm actually the guy that's on your side. That but guy had a terrible plan. As if it was actually gonna work. So I wonder how he's gonna escape with... With Ava. Is she gonna help him help her escape? He's gonna show that it was all his idea to, for them to fall in love with each other. You were right about the magician's hot assistant. What are you talking about? What does that prove? Misdirection. Proof? Place a new camera in the room. Battery powered, of course. You have to help me. I'm going to. We're getting out of here tonight. Uh, help. he heard everything. I get Nathan blind drunk. But how does that prove Nathan. that she? She didn't like him. Turn that just on. proves okay. that he was listening to their whole plan the whole time. What was the real test? You. Ava was a rat in a maze, and I gave her one way out. To escape, she'd have to use self-awareness, imagination, manipulation, sexuality, empathy, and she did. Now, if that isn't true AI, what the fuck is? And you didn't select me because I'm good at coding. No. Well, no. I mean, you're okay. You're even pretty good. <laughs> but... You selected me based on my search engine inputs. You know, girlfriend. Who would fall in love quick, dude? Did you design Ava's face based on my pornography profile? Oh, Ooh. shit, dude. It was a success. Ava demonstrated true AI. This and guy got played. So if you can just... So then the event of a power cut, instead of sealing, the door is all opened. Huh. That other robot did it for him. That may have just worked. Well, we'll find out. He played that. He played him the whole time? What? I figured you were probably watching us during the power cuts. How did he do that? So I already did all those things. When I got you drunk yesterday. Whoa. What? He played him. Wow. That dude's a genius. Whoa. That kid's smart, huh? I didn't see that one coming. And he probably programmed this other robot to help her. What? Why did he just let himself get knocked out though? What did she tell her? They're gonna kill him. Go back to your room! She has a knife. Are you ever gonna let me out? Yes. She could tell he's lying. She's good at reading micro stop. expressions. Stop. I wonder if she's very strong. Ava, I said stop. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, she's pretty fast. Stop. She is strong. Why is this other robot holding a knife? She's gonna stab him. Oh. I'm taking you back. Oh. She kind of just walked into that, didn't he?
Right in the heart. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> He's still walking. Fucking unreal. <laughs> oh, right in his uh, solar plexus, actually, his upper abdomen. <sighs> Oh, that must hurt. How could he still walk though? He got stabbed in the spine. That that would like cut off all his nerves. Is she gonna stab him again? Like through the heart? She must have detailed files on like anatomy and how how to kill him like if she wanted to. The creation has killed the creator. Can't she fix her arm though? Yeah, that guy was knocked out for a long time from a single punch. Will you stay here? Stay here. Why is it gonna make it like frame him for the murder? Or she wants to get dressed up again why would she ask him to stay there oh she's gonna take an arm well that's convenient is she gonna take all of her skin to cover herself up oh he bled out oh yeah she did take it all that was a good fit wasn't it Does she not care about him? She just used him. Wow. She just used him. Oh my god. I didn't see that one coming. He got played. So that guy was telling the truth, Nathan. What? What? She was just pretending to have emotions the whole entire time. She can't really go too far off the island though because she needs to, b to charge up, right? She can't survive without power she totally seduced that guy and just used him typical woman man I swear <sighs> no I'm just playing but yeah he got played oh she turned off the power but that means he could leave. The door's open when she turns off the power. Isn't that what? I mean, sh she couldn't have recoded it, right? When he turns off the power, the door, it works the opposite way. So the doors would open. <gasps> She's going to be the one to leave on the helicopter? But like I said, she needs to have a source of power. And I'm pretty sure this island or this place is the only way that she can receive her power you know so yeah unless she's smart enough to to find another way to do it but wow she was conniving wasn't she the whole entire time trapped him inside 
inside that room just like she was. She's at it and at an intersection. Dude, that guy would be scarred for life and never trust anyone. Couldn't trust Nathan, then he falls in love with a robot who used him. And now, how's he gonna trust anybody? Wow. That's pretty scarring for some. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, that was... Okay. Okay, that was... um. Wow, that was a great ending. I didn't expect... Back to, I didn't see that ending coming. I thought the twist was that um, that Nathan found out about their plans. So I was like, oh, great. How's he going to pull this off now? It's over. But then they twisted it up saying, well, you know, he realized it all along that Nathan was going to was going to discover it. So he had already previously reset the code, right? It's like, oh, yeah, he did it. He did it. They're going to escape. And then at the end of it, uh, Ava was actually the one who tricked all th all of them, and she was the only one to escape. And I did not see that coming. I did feel it was going to be a play on the themes of you know what does it mean to be a human versus a, a AI robot? Is are they alive? Are they conscious? do they have awareness you know do they have the same rights and as humans do did play on those themes but it was great how it kind of changed it up because most of the time you feel bad for the robot like they're just being used and they're being manipulated and this time around the robot was the one who was being the manipulator who was using people around her to achieve her goal so I thought that was great. I thought they did a good job. The CGI was was cool, you know, like the the robot's body was see-through. You know, you could see as the arm was moving, you could see behind them. You could see the other side of the arm, the hands through the body. So they did a really good job with the CGI. The acting was great, like I said. Um, the story was good. The plot had like two twists at the end that were really surprising yeah it was a great movie so i thoroughly enjoyed it thanks for 